Sometimes when you're trying to do calculations in Tableau, you'll get an error saying um, expected type float, found string, all these errors, and you're like, I'm just trying to do a calculation. I'm just trying to add one. What is going on? Well, I'm going to show you how to fix that error in this video. So let's start right now. <laughs> Here we are in Tableau and before we begin, be sure to subscribe because I see in my analytics like 80 or 90% of people are not subscribed to this wonderful channel, which means you are missing out on the videos I release three times a week in order to really further your, not just Tableau, but your analytics career, right? So there's a lot to learn. So let's get started. Uh, I'm going to start where I always start, which is the data set. So what I have here, and actually, no, that's not where we're going to start. Where we're going to start is where the question came from. Okay. So I had this um, question a few days ago and I was kind of like thinking about it over the weekend. So Brintha is basically saying, I've got an error. The error is um, expected type float found string result types from case. So really this is the error here, the highlighted one. And this kind of like, um, you know, hidden, hidden dead language of programming where no, I've no non computer science person could possibly understand. When I first saw this, when I was starting, I was like, what the hell is a float? What the hell is a string? You know, I, I don't get what's going on. So I'm going to break it down for you. So let's get started. Huh? Brinta, let's get started. All right. So here we have the data set. And if you want to follow along, it is in the description below. And what's interesting about this one is I have put both um, words and I've put numbers. Now in human speak, we call these words correct? And in human speak, we call these numbers. But in computer speak, right, in nerd speak, we don't call these words, we call these strings. Okay, strings like that. And numbers, we have all sorts of different types. So we can call them integers, which basically means any whole number, anything without a decimal. You have, uh, what are the other ones we have? We have single, you have double, you have float, you have all these types of numbers. For the average user, none of that really matters. There is, I'll, I'll show you the default setting I use for numbers and just use that for everything. And that's fine. The only time personally I think data type for numbers really matters is once you're doing really, 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 really big data. Because that's where performance starts to play a factor in how much information is stored in the number, you know, how much, how many decimal places you really want to keep for, you know, maybe precision engineering or precision analysis or, you know, long trend analysis, anything where it's like you ha need like heaps of decimal places, that kind of stuff you have to worry about. But us as beginners, as Tableau visualizer, you don't need any of that stuff. The one we use is simply number decimal. That's it. And I'll show you how we're going to use that in um, Tableau. So let me close this and not save it. So let's load it up and I'll show you what we're going to do. Let me bring it in. I'm going to show you a few interesting things. So it's kind of going to be more of a theory based um, lesson. So if I zoom in here, what you're going to notice that's a little bit different than usual is I have, you know, my words and my numbers and Tableau has gone on and set this to be a string. Right, so string, basically words. So it's storing these words as words, cool, but it's storing the numbers as words. Now you're probably thinking, well, how does it store it as a string? I'll give you an example. Let's say you have a license ID, right? So your driver's license, you have a license number. You're not really gonna do any math on that. You're not gonna go like, my what's my license number times five? Because in, in terms of, uh, in context, you'd never do that. It's really an identification code. So you can actually store that as a word, right? Because then you're never going to do formulas on it. So what Tableau's done is it's applied a formula. And what's happening is if, uh, and, the, and the reason it decides that is if your first set of um, entries are words, like with letters and stuff, Tableau's probably going to guess, I think this is a letter field. However, I have seen cases where the first one is a word and heaps of them, the rest, like a hundred of them are numbers. And Tableau goes, I think this is a number. And then it will set it to number. So it depends on each case. What I would recommend you do is, you know, before loading it into Tableau, have a quick look of your data set in Excel or whatever it might be, and just kind of have a rough look of what everything is. Are these fields look like dates? These look like numbers. So then when you get in here and you look at the data types, just make sure it's what you expect. Okay. All right. 
So a way to fix this, if I'm going to do calculations of this, is why don't I just go here and go number decimal, right? The one that we mentioned before. Well, you can't just change a data type instantly. You can, but it's not good practice, and I'll show you why. Let's say these three, Jed, Word, and String, let's say that's useful information, okay? Um, and I want to use the numbers as well. Well, here's what happens if I switch the data type. Watch what happens. So if I go number decimal, it actually nulls them which means it just wipes that data off. Now that could be super important, but I still need to do formulas of this field. So how do I do formulas of it and keep the text? Okay, so let me show you how we do that. So let's go sheet two. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a, actually, no, let's go back. I don't wanna have that as a number, keep it as a string. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write a formula. I'm kinda, we're gonna try and recreate the um, actual error. So create calculated field. Let's just call this times two. So basically I'm gonna bring value in and I'm gonna multiply by two and I should get an error. Okay, so can't multiply strings and integer values. So again, integer, just any whole number. If we do some, um, without the plus, some decimal places, it goes, can't multiply string. So value is a string. Okay, with a float value. So this is the float or in human speak, a number. Okay, so what I can do is I can go, okay, fine. I still have an error here. You can see that little exclamation mark. And if I switch this to a, actually, let's bring this in. Actually, you can't bring it in, there's an error. If I switch this to a number decimal, this will now work. But again, we get that problem of the nulls. So what you can do instead is you can right click I can go back one more. You can right click this, go duplicate. Now what that does is it just creates the same one by making it equal the other one. So if I open it up, you just see it's just got value in it, okay? So you can call this whatever you like, value. And then for the duplicate one, I change this data type to decimal. Okay, so now I've basically preserved the original and created a new one that's just numbers. So if I go into this formula, and instead of using Let's call this value clean so we don't get confused. Okay. Our value number. Okay. Let's go in here. Let's switch this one to value number. And you'll see there should be no error because they're now both numbers and we go OK. Now, if I bring this in, you can see I can do calculation. Cool. So that's kind of like the first part. What if I wanted to actually see? the original data without the numbers, right? So because I'm doing some sort of error analysis to see, well, how many rows are actually problematic, which is something I would do. So what I can go, what I can do is, um, let's clear this. I can bring these values in, right? You can see they're like that. And I can bring the second one in as well. And what you'll notice is we've got these nulls and we can filter for the nulls. So I can bring value number in and I can go none and just select the nulls. And if I go OK, it actually gives me the ones that are problematic. How would I address this? Well, if I'm getting the data from someone else, I'm like, listen, stop putting words in this field. OK, that's number one. Or if it's a massive system, maybe you have to put some rules in place to not even be allowed to put in numbers at all. OK, or you just speak to the next person, and just say, just don't do that anymore, whatever it might be. So you have a number of options, but that's how you would deal with the data type issue in Tableau. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, don't forget, I have a complete training course on Udemy if you want to learn like really in depth, like the whole thing. It's in the description below. Until next time, hope you guys enjoyed and bye.